Good evening, good Friday evening. From Xfinity Center, Maryland, over Minnesota, 6960. I'm Wayne Viner, Bruce Posner, our guest, Byron Mouton. Bruce, take it away. Byron, we haven't seen you here much this year. <laughs> You're a busy guy. Let's talk about the Terps before you. Yeah, yeah. 13 and seven in this conference. It's not bad. No, that's great, man. I mean, the guy's been playing well. Uh, they're the fifth youngest team in the country. And, you know, watching the game, man, I mean, they played real well together. They got dominant post play and great perimeter guys that can shoot the ball and penetrate. Talk about Sticks tonight. I think his best game of the year. Yeah, yeah. The guy been playing real well. And, you know, he's knocking down threes. And he plays real well for Fernando, man. I mean, you know, that, that one-two punch uh, with him and uh, Fernando looking real good right now. Guard play was solid enough tonight. McBrayer and uh, tried to shoot their way into this game. They took a lot of threes. Maryland's defense was up to the task for most of this game. What did you see defensively allowed Maryland to close it on their shooters? Well, they, they play tenacious defense, man. The guys they got, uh, Marcel, I love Marcel. Marcel kind of remind me of myself, man. He's a great on-ball defend, defender, man. He put a lot of pressure on the perimeter players. Uh, they just played lockdown defense, man. You know, this game now is all about the three ball. If you can eliminate the three ball, you got a high chance of winning these games. And that's exactly what they did until the end of one player, Coffee, got real high right. and uh, scored like 15 straight points. Well, he's good. I mean, yeah. McBrayer and Coffee are yeah. really good. Bruno gets yeah. another double-double, Bruce. Is that what you're expecting? Yeah, short minutes for him tonight with foul trouble. You know, they bring out these guys. I don't know where they get them from, these <laughs> seven-foot-one white guys, yeah. sorry, from the farms yeah. in the Midwest. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they bothered Bruno physically yeah. a little bit. They beat him up, and he responds. But once again, another double-double. As we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. Uh, when you take a look, it's funny you talk about Morcel. Yeah. I remember when the, when you were playing and the Terps would get into a jam, it was always you who would say, give me the ball, I'm going to the hoop no matter what. I remember it up in Philadelphia yeah. when you did it at the uh, Palestra. Remember that game? Oh, I remember everything. You had an unbelievable <laughs> yeah, game there. Yeah, you did it in a national championship yep. game when you had to. Yep. Marcel's got that same yep. tough city yep. attitude, doesn't he? Yeah, man, I love Marcel, man. You know, he's a combination, like I said, uh, same type of guy, Sean Mosley, those type of guys, gritty guys that I love. And Marcel, with the moment that he came to Maryland, because, you know, I got a youth basketball program, and, and on the circuit we used to always play him. I'm like, man, that guy always some – somewhere around the ball, man. He's just a tough kid, and I love what he brings to the University of Maryland basketball team. Talk about your program now. I know that you've grown it, and how many kids do you have, and how many teams are you coaching? Well, <laughs> so right now, you know, I'm, I'm actually coaching high school basketball, okay. and uh, over the weekend, man, I'm so proud of those guys. I brought them to the game, and we just won us back-to-back state champions. Oh, uh, great. In my third year there, man, I'm so excited about that. Where are you coaching? Uh, Lanham Christian, like, literally like five miles up the street in Greenbelt slash uh, Lanham. And, uh, you know, like I said, I have a youth program, man. We in eight different states now, man. Wow. Yeah, we got over 3,500 kids, man. Raymond from Maryland, D.C., Virginia, Delaware, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Arkansas. It's all over the place. All right. Uh, over last weekend, I got to talk to Drew Nichols. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Steve Blake and Lonnie Baxter. So now I've got you. What did Gary say that got you to Maryland? How would you end up coming here? Well, you know, to be honest with you, Dave Dickinson actually recruited me, man. And uh, when he was recruiting me, he told me about Maryland. And I actually seen some games. I mean, I love Gary Williams. I just love his tenaciousness, uh, the way he's all in, all in, guy. He's screaming, yelling, excitement all the time he played. That's just me as a basketball player. You know, the, the, the intangibles that he brings as a coach. He's just all, all in. Well, you showed up 
and you end up going to the national championship. I guess you got why you came here. How easy was it to fit in with the guys who were here? Man, those guys, except the guys that play high school basketball, I played on a lot of different teams. Mm -hmm. And those guys at the University of Maryland the team I played, probably the best guys I ever played with. We never bickered, we never argued, we always compete, and then we always try to find the best uh, situation to win games. Okay. We're way over time, we gotta go to break, but I got one more. Best memory of Cole Fieldhouse? The best memory of Cole Fieldhouse, it has to be when my first time playing uh, Duke University. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, everybody talk about Duke, yeah. and everybody talk about how, are you gonna help us beat Duke? Yep. I'm trying to help win the national championship, not yep. beat Duke, yep. but you know, it is still uh, same that. thing around here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> keep up the great work. Thank you, man. You know, yeah. I remember when you started the program. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, thank you, man. I remember I was going to Baltimore yeah. to your TV show, man. Right, man. Thank you for remembering me, man. All right. All right. We love you, man. All right, thanks. Man. All right, this, this is the Viner Four Gates first game <laughs> show. Is Our guest by remote Listen time. to the we Young Turf back. Podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TurpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast.